Women wear pants and strange apparel. That's right. What's the, what's the white lady name? Amelia Bloomer. The feminist movement, that's how that came about. I can do anything that you do. Yes, I can. No, you can't. That's how that came about. Yes, sir. That's how that came about. The feminist movement. Are you a feminist, sis? You are? Oh, that's the cat's out the bag. The cat is out the bag. So, we read about earlier about us going to cargo slave ships. Are we serving our enemies to one of all things? But why did that happen to us? We didn't listen. We didn't follow the commandments. So now what we gotta do, we gotta start learning some commandments. So I'm gonna give you a commandment since you can start learning. You can start applying this today. Give me do you know what I want? Do I'm 22 and verse 5. Do what you got. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. They say the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth, meaning belongs to a man. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So, sis, it said a woman should not wear that which pertain to a man. So, what article of clothing pertain to me? Huh? Pants? Yeah. Yeah. So, for example, like if you, you go to a, a, a restaurant, you go to, to the, uh, in the restroom, how would you know which one is the man bathroom, which one is the woman bathroom? If they if ain't say man and woman. you going to see that. You're going to look at that picture, right? What? Exactly. One got on pants. It's very simple. It's very, very simple. So what you got to start doing here? Uh oh! What you mean? Wait a minute. What you talking about? You straight? <laughs> oh, right. So, you believe you can come as you are. You want to serve God, but you believe you can come as you are. That's what I heard. That's what you heard? Yeah. What the Bible say, though? No, that's not it. Huh? Ah, uh, so how God feel about abominations? You don't like it? We're going to find out. Give me what you got. So right, 15 verse 13. Because if God feels abomination and we're trying to serve God, but at the same time, you say, I'm going to come in with some heart. That, you know what they call that? This was, uh, this is the, uh, the title of uh, Christianity. Hypocrisy. That's right. Hypocrisy. That's, right. That's what they teach in the Christian church. Hypocrisy. They say, I want to serve God, but I want to do it on my own terms. I want to do it on my own terms. God say a woman can't wear pants, but they say, no, come as you are That's and right. stay as you are. That's right. God, but God says you must change. If you put on no pants, you got to take them off and put on a dress. That's right. Right. You know? Come on, read what you got. The book of Sirach, chapter 15 and verse 13. The Lord hated all abominations. Do what? The Lord hated all abominations. The Lord said he hates. All the abominations. So, if you wear no pants, how do God feel about you? He hates you. <laughs> so, if you want to serve God, how are you gonna serve a God that hates you? When you want to be on this good side, so how are you gonna get on this good side? You know. That's right. <laughs> you know. Is that what she wore to become a member of the church? Right. Is that what she wore to become a member of that church? I did. Oh, so you got certified with the pants on in the midst of sin. You see what they teach in the church, sis? They teach you lies. They lead the flock astray. They gonna get you killed, sis. This is Zephaniah 1 and 8. I'm a, this one, I'm gonna this I'm warn you. This is my job. As a prophet of God, I have to warn you. So, when I'm gonna give you this warning today, hopefully you take heed to it. Because next time, it might not be good for you because God can judge us at any time. We can't, we can't play with God. Remember, the same God that put us on cargo slave ships, 
right. that that got his hung, right. whipped, right. that got us oppressed. Right. That's the same God we serve. That's right. That's right. Bring the it same on. God that destroyed the whole planet Earth right. and left eight people on it. Bring it out. That's the same God we serve. That's right. So we cannot play with this God. Obviously, when we read this book, we gotta say no. We can't. Surely, we can't play with this man. He will put us to death. That's right. He will judge us. So I'm gonna show you what judgment that will happen if you keep wearing those pants. Yeah. Book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. It and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. They say it will come to pass when it's going to happen in the future. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. What's, what happened on the sacrifice? On, on, the, on the sacrifice. Some gave sacrifice. What's going to happen? Some going to die. If we have a sacrifice right now, it's going to be a barbecue. Some getting burnt up. That's right. God said, I don't want you to get burnt up, sis. That's what's going to happen. Put this shit out. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children. The princes and the king's children. That's us. Come on. And all such are clothed with strange apparel. Say, all such are clothed with strange apparel. Women wear pants with strange apparel. That's right. What's the, what's the white lady name? Amelia Bloomer. Mm -hmm. The feminist movement. That's how that came about. I can do anything that you do. Yes, I can. No, you can't. <laughs> that's how that came about. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that came about. Right. The feminist movement. Are you a feminist, sis? You are. Oh, 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 the cat's out the bed. The cat is out the bed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, let's look up a feminist. What is a feminist? Sis, how do God feel about feminists? Because remember, you say you want to serve God. You, we, you went to that church, you got up, you became a member in the midst of sin. They approved the sin. Today, on the Sabbath day, uh, what were you doing out here earlier today? You were shopping? Yeah. Oh, so you was breaking the Sabbath. You probably ain't know that, but you was breaking the Sabbath. So you want basically when you ain't been keeping no laws, and they made you a member. They made you a member. They say, surely she must be a member of this church. She's not keeping no commandments. Surely she must be a member of this church. <laughs> so one thing they got you doing too, you following feminism. You following feminism. You got that definition from good, sir. All right. By definition, the word feminist means the advocacy of women's rights on the basis of the equality of the sexes. Uh oh. On the equality of the sexes. Equal. So you, let me ask you this now. Do you have a husband? No? You have a, what they call a boyfriend? Okay, okay. Okay, so. When you had that uh, relationship, right? Was you in feminism? You believe in feminism? You did? Okay. So, now. But that relationship, the relationship before that, you believe in feminism too, right? So why? You see, it's a pattern right there. You believe in the feminism. What's that equal enough to? You can't keep a man. <laughs> A lot of all women cannot keep men because they believe in feminism. Jesus. Bring it out. Because do you, do you know it's an order with God? It's an order with God. He does everything in order. Give me First Corinthians 11. You got, you, yeah, you got that? God does everything in order. But our, our problem with our people is we don't like order. Bring it out. We don't like order. Jesus. We like feminism. Right. We like what we're going to church with parents. Right. Right. We like eating pork. Right. We like everything that goes against God. Teach. But at the same time, we say, I want to serve God. Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy of the Christian church. Will it come up out of that? Bring it out. Read what you got. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. They say the head of the woman is what? The head of the woman is the man. They say the head of the woman is the man. Right. What does it mean with somebody in your head? See, that's what we gotta we gotta start getting into this. What does it mean with somebody in your head? 
So, by, by, I'm a man, right? By me being a man, Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, Jesus Christ, is my head. Exactly. What does that mean? Bring it out! Yes, he's your leader. That's right. He has complete power and authority. That's right. That's what that Bring means. Come on, finish it up. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. So that's the order. All women must fall under the order. But when we read that Christ, that, uh, that scripture, we read out here all the time. It's like kryptonite to the black woman. Yes. We read it. They say, ah, oh, no, read it. <laughs> it's it like kryptonite. It can't be Christian. It gotta be medicine to you now. Right. This scripture must be medicine to you now. Yeah. It's going. It's going to heal our communities. Once we once we start applying this, it's going to heal us. Preach. Who is your head? Oh, oh, oh! Breathe again. You got that kryptonite again. Oh, Jesus! Blinding me. That's that kryptonite again. We're gonna read it again for you. Come on. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman. And the head of the woman. The black woman. The black and Hispanic woman. Is the man. Is who? Is the man. Is who? Is the man. The head of the woman is. <laughs> Say it in the oh, mic. Yeah. Say it in the mic. Say it in the mic. Say it out. I know it was hard. I know. I, I know. I know. I know. I got one more scripture. This is 316. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. This is good that you learned this now. I know. I know. That's good. That's good, sis. Come, we need you to come to our school. Because remember, in our school, you're not going to be a member. Uh, Y'all get a flyer? Yeah, she get her a flyer. It's on the back of the uh, on the back of the uh, flyer. So now, yeah. So with that, we've been learning these things. Feminism is not of God. A woman wearing pants, which is part of feminism, is not of God. We gotta come up all these things. So y'all saying I gotta wear a dress every day of my life? Yes. 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 That's, right. That's what the Bible said. We not saying it. The Bible is saying. That's right. And listen, you gotta come up out of feminism, sis. You guys. I'm a. Go ahead. Right. It's like that too, so you just it's the sixteen. So it's 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 a it's a, it's a domino effect. And then the guys, the lack of respect, the lack, the lack of knowing how to lead, is this kind of like? Yeah, I got you. I got you. So you right. So it's a domino effect. Our when our uh your mama, she was learning talk one day, and it got passed on to you, right? I'm gonna show you how the Bible feel, uh say about that. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Read what you got. Book Ezekiel chapter 16 verse 44. Behold, everyone that useth Proverbs shall use this proverb against thee. So it's a proverb. It's going to be a wise saying. It's going to be spoken out to our community. God said this is going to happen to us in the last days. Read what you got. Say, as is the mother, as is the mother, so is her daughter. So is the daughter. So, a lot of our things are our mama was taught feminism. They can do it without themselves. They was nourished, brother, by what? White man Jesus. Right. White man Jesus said, I'm going to give you welfare. Section 8. Bring it out. With that, the black man must be excluded. Out of the household. Right, right, right. Bring it Take up. that Negro out the household. Right. And I'm going to give you everything you want. I'm going to give you that job you want. I'm going to give you that nice car you want. Just take the black man out the house Bring and be a feminist. Bring it That's what they being taught. And that was passed down from your mother down to you. So guess what? Your mama was like that. And now you become like that. But now we learn these things. You got to come up off that. You learn that God said that's that's wrong. Feminism, feminism is evil. That's right. You learn these things, now you gotta apply it to your life. By what? The first step will be what? It's a basic thing we read earlier. The first step is going what? Coming out of feminism. Like what? What you gotta do first? We 
You read it early. Wear a dress. Wear a dress. Yeah. I know you know it. You're real smart. Put on a dress. That's the first part, sis. Put that dress on. A, a modest dress. Not any type of dress. But listen. Man, not that swag. Not, not, not swag wear. Swag will get you killed. Swag wear will get you killed. Killed and pregnant, right? A baby mama. Swag will have you a baby mama out here. So now we learn that you gotta come out of feminism. That the man is your head. The man must rule you. Once you come into those things and come out that Christian church, don't be a member in there. The member, you feel a member in there. A member in there. They're going to have you saying, okay, them pants are good. Trim numbers is good. All these things that you've been taught that sin is you okay, they're okay with. You cannot be okay with those things, sis. Why? Because God is not okay with you. You got to come back to what the Bible says. The Bible says you must put on the dress. The Bible says the man is the head. The Bible says feminism is evil. Right. So we got to listen to the Bible, not what the Christian church say. What's the church? Yeah, what's the name of your church? Triumph. Triumph. The big church? Triumph? Oh, the big boy? Oh, man. What's the pastor's name? Yeah, what's his name? Solomon something. Yeah. Solomon something? Kinlock. Solomon Kinlock. Solomon Kinlock. Yeah. Yeah. Solomon Kinlock. Yeah, the big church. Yeah. Solomon Kinlock says, you become a member and being a Mr. All Manner of Sin. That's what he's teaching you, sis. That's what Solomon, what's his name? Kinlock. Kinlock. Kinlock from Trinity Church. Solomon Kinlock from Triumph. Trinity Church. Triumph, Triumph. Triumph Church. Triumph. 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 He said you're going to be a feminist. He said you're going to wear pants. <laughs> he said you're going to do everything you want. Just bring me that money. I need my 10%. You can do whatever the hell you want. Come as you are. He said you're going to be a sinner. And just give me that money. We got to come up off that, sis. We learned that everything uh, Solomon Triumph has taught you have been lies. That's right. Because the Bible say the man must rule you 100%. Finish that out though. I'm going to read it. The book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 16. Read it out. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. And sorrow shall thou bring forth children. So it's talking about uh, labor pains and menstrual cycles. Why that happen? Why? Because he was not uh, submissive to her husband. And now from, from that point, all women gonna have these uh, menstrual cycles, uh, labor pains. Why? Because women were not being obedient to their husbands. They would not be, this is a reminder, every month, this is a reminder, I must be obedient to my husband. Every month, this is a reminder, I cannot be a feminist. I cannot be a feminist. Every month you get a reminder. Yes, that's what the Bible was saying. Every month I'm going to give you a reminder to not be a feminist. Finish it off. And thy desire shall be to thy husband. This is the reason why the relationship didn't work out. Because what? And thy desire shall be to thy husband. Your desire was not to your husband. He Matter, matter of fact, he was not your husband in the first place. That was the first problem. Bring it out. You should have a husband first and foremost. Right. And your desire should be to him. Finish it off. And he shall rule over thee. Wait a minute. He shall do what? He shall rule over thee. He shall rule over thee. That's right. Rule. Rule. <laughs> rule. Bring it out. That's not equality, sis. Right. He's supposed to rule over you. Right. What is this? The Holy Fight! We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.